Are you ready to have your website get found by the right people? Are you looking to rank at the top of Google so you get more traffic to your website? Are you ready to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your organic traffic? If so, you are in the right place, my friend. Welcome to the Simple SEO Content Podcast, where I show you how to combine the power of SEO, search engine optimization, and content marketing to build your like, know, and trust factor with your audience, which allows you to get found by the right people and turn those visitors into buyers. No more frustration or confusion and no more time wasted wondering if you're doing your SEO right. It's time to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your business. Hi, and welcome to the Simple Marketing and SEO Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Lynn Teigen, and I'm so glad that you are here with me. Today is a fun day. So I had a discussion with my students recently about creating blog posts and content and the amount of time that it can take for some of them to create the content. And it made me realize I bet you would benefit too from a quick lesson on batching content and how I make my content development a really easy process. And it's part of how I keep things going on a regular basis and am able to create that weekly content and do the SEO so that I get thousands of visits to the website each month from SEO. So how in the world do you do it and what do you do to make it faster? So here's the thing. This is a process that I've worked on and perfected over the last decade. So you get lots of learnings in today's lesson. So the first thing that I do, I love to do a brainstorm, just content development brainstorm. Do it however you want. Grab your whiteboard, open a Google Doc. If you're kind of old school like me, grab a notepad there's something about legal pads. I have them all over my office and I like to just sit and write the ideas. Turn on your favorite music and just think. There's no good ideas. There's no bad ideas. There's just ideas. What questions do you get asked all the time? What questions are you sick and tired of answering about your business? Because those, my friend, those are going to be really good content topic ideas, potentially. So you want to think about that the questions you get asked, the questions you wish they would ask, then you can do something like go over to Google and use Google suggested search and you can start searching and seeing what is someone searching for that's related to my business. So start by putting in a couple of keywords in the search bar and see what else Google pops up there that it's suggesting because that's often information that people are interested in. You can also look at the people also ask, you can look at the related queries, all of that information in your Google search results page itself can be fantastic content topic ideas. Now, you're going to need to take a class, have a good understanding of how do you determine which of these ideas is the best for my particular business? Where do I have the best chance of ranking? What keyword can I find to align with it? All of that we'll deal with later. For right now, you're just looking for ideas. So turn on some music, grab a pen or your keyboard or your whiteboard marker, whatever you want, and just brainstorm. Set a timer for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however long you want to give it, and just put a bunch of ideas out. That's step one. I like to keep a living, breathing content calendar. I keep one that goes for the year. I plan a quarter at a time, and I have a tab on that calendar with all the ideas that I've thought about that I have not yet created that I might want to create in the future. The other thing you can do is listen to other podcasts like yours, like in your niche, or check out other blogs or see what's happening on Pinterest. Don't ever copy anyone. Don't ever plagiarize. You can also use a tool like ChatGPT to give you ideas as to the type of content that you might want to create. You know, let, let your GPT engine know who your audience is and what questions they might have and ask for blog topic ideas there. Again, don't just use something verbatim out of there, but it might be able to give you some ideas. I do that and I keep that living, breathing document. I update it when new ideas come to me. And when I'm ready, then the next time, that's usually the first session. So just do that. 
Then when you're ready to actually start doing your content development for the month, you know that I teach you the same as pretty much every other online marketing person, one piece of content each week, one unique piece, whether it's a blog post, a podcast, it's a YouTube video, it really doesn't matter. Now, if you are doing a podcast or a YouTube video, we do want to have a blog post style um, item along with it if you're wanting to get website traffic from Google. So just having that podcast episode or that YouTube video is not going to be enough for Google. So you will want to create a content piece that can be optimized, that can also showcase that video or audio piece. Just make sure that we're all on the same page there. Now, it's only going to take you maybe an hour a week extra to do the actual SEO on this. So don't even worry about that. So we're going to start by batching. We've got our ideas. We've got our calendar. We know we're going to create content for one month. We're just going to make this easy. You're going to grab your calendar and you're going to, if you're a student in simple SEO content, you already have your calendar template. Just go ahead and open it. If you're not one of my students and you don't have one, then you need to just start a document look at the upcoming month, which day of the week do you send your content and get that scheduled out and choose from your topic areas, your pillars, one post for each of your pillars for the month. Then you're going to want to start writing your posts. If you are able to write all four posts in one setting, awesome. Go ahead and do that. Great. If you can't, if you are not a strong writer, you don't enjoy it, it takes you a long time, then don't worry about it. Create one. Then the next time, set some time on your calendar for the next day and create the next one. You don't have to kill yourself. You don't have to be frustrated and stressed out trying to do this. Play to your strengths. If it's easier for you, you're more creative first thing in the morning, cool. Make sure you set aside time on your calendar, block it out. I personally put my computer and phone on do not disturb. I like try to do that content development or like I'm recording podcasts right now. The house is empty. I don't want interruptions when I'm trying to create my content. And I am batching my content for the podcast right now because this is the third episode that I've recorded today. So it works. It makes it so much easier for you. So go ahead and write one post, two posts, four posts, whatever it is, get through what you can today. And then if you did not get through all four of them, go ahead and set time on the calendar again to be able to do it in the future. Now we've written, the next thing you're going to do is edit. Now it's up to you. If you're a really strong editor, cool, great. You do the editing yourself. If you're more like me and you're a better writer than editor, just use a tool. I use Grammarly. I also know people really like Hemingway. Just use a tool. Let it help you. Let it tell you where to put the commas and the semicolons and all the other stuff to make sure that you're good to go. So the next time, you're going to edit it all. And I would ideally recommend that you just set aside an hour or so, especially if you're using a tool. It doesn't take that long to edit it. Um, Set aside an hour or so, edit all four posts, and then be done. And then the next session, that's where you would go in and you would do your optimization. So hopefully here, if you're doing it the way that I teach you, you've already done your SEO keyword research before you started writing anything. So you've already got your keyword. If you didn't, make sure you do that next time. Okay, we start with our keyword research so we know what we're writing about. So go ahead and do your optimization. You're going to need to write a title tag and a meta description for each of them. That's it. Make sure you're using header tags. Make sure that your keywords in your headers and your keywords in your copy, but your keywords should already be in your copy because your post should be about your keyword. So that's your optimization. If you have enough time left, if you're getting pretty quick at your optimization, you've been doing this for a while, you can go ahead and also make your images at this point. If you use like Canva, I personally use Canva. I pay for the paid account just because it's easier. It allows me to keep that template in my account. So when I go to make my blog images, it's like five minutes. Grab a photo, change a few names, update the color if I need on the backdrop of the color on mine and export them. Now, if you're using Canva and you're exporting like four of them at a time, I do that. I create them in a batch. It's going to save them as files one, two, three, and four. I do want you to remember that you need to go back then before you upload them, rename those files in your file folder, 
and use your keyword. So keyword dash, the one that looks like the minus sign keyword, and then include your business name because your photos can be searched in Google images and having your business name there gives you better chances to show up not only for that keyword, but for your business name as well. So then you can shut down, set some time on your calendar for the next session, and that's when you would go ahead and go ahead and log those into or schedule them into your blog platform. So copy paste, update your title tag, your meta description, upload your images, do all of that, and go ahead and schedule your blog post. And my friend, that's really it. That's the end of your actual blog production. Now, if you're repurposing your content, which you should be because it makes it easier and it gives you more reach with the content that you're creating, you're also going to want to then go into your email service provider and you're going to want to batch emails for each of those four blog posts, podcasts, or YouTube videos. And you want to include the links to your content and encourage people to go read that. So go ahead and do that and get those scheduled so that they go out the correct week that's associated with that piece of content. And then the other thing, if you're on social, which most of you are, go ahead and create your social content using your blog, podcast, or YouTube video as your base. So say you have a blog post that's three ideas, three steps to do X. Well, each of those three steps could be a reel. You could have a carousel that's all three steps. You could have an image post individually for each of those three steps. There's so much that you can do to repurpose your content. Work smarter, not harder. You can do this in your content development, your SEO, all of this does not have to be a really super involved process to get results. If you want to learn exactly how to do this step-by-step step with pictures and guides and all of that, I have an entire module in or an entire lesson in simple SEO content all about the content that we need to create for our website and our blog and how to batch our content and how to find content ideas and keyword ideas and all of that. So if you're interested, just join me in Simple SEO content and I'll walk you through it. And that's a completely updated and revised class. It's streamlined. Five modules, my friend. Five modules. Each module is a little under an hour. So you're going to get through that whole class. You can watch the entire class in a weekend and then get to work and start implementing. And like I said, your SEO is going to take you about an hour a week. It is so minimal the amount of time it takes you once you understand. Just let me teach you how to do it so that it's a lot easier for you. All right, my friend, if you have any questions, you can find me, um, email me info at etched marketing or DM me on Instagram. Be sure and visit the freebies tab, grab the SEO content quick start guide, take SEO 101, the free class, and then most importantly, join me in simple SEO content so that I can show you how to do this and make this all so much easier for you. Let's get you some free website traffic coming in. Let's uh, streamline this process, get you ranking on Google, get some website traffic, start reusing the content that you're creating for your blog, for all your other channels. Let me show you how to make this so much easier. All right, my friends, I will see you back here next week. That's all for today's episode of the Simple SEO Content Podcast. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you visit my website, etchedmarketing.com, and visit the freebies tab. Right there, you're going to find the SEO Content Quick Start Guide along with the free SEO class. So you'll have everything you need to know to get started with SEO and content marketing. Then do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind, if you would do a rating and a review of this podcast on your favorite platform, that would really help spread the message. And I do greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can always DM me on Instagram at Etched Marketing Academy, and I will see you right back here next week. 